From Hollywood, bringing you the best in entertainment, you are now riding shotgun on Maz TV. Look how lovely that is. Welcome back from the wreck, everybody, and of course to Maz TV. We took a trip to Brea, California at the Brea Improv to talk with my friend Richard Villa. He's super funny, and we want you to check him out. I'm so happy to be here. I love covering events like this because I love funny guys. Are you a funny guy? I am hilarious in two languages, not just English, but Spanish. Oh, and an actor and a model? Actor, model. Hey, what can I say? I'm gorgeous. <laughs> What are, you doing? what are you doing, bro? You're not even paying attention to the song. Did you hear DJ hit it? Hit it? It's like kryptonite to all these Mexicans, bro. You won't get stabbed or shot or nothing. Look at them. They're rendered useless. What do we got tonight? I know we're on Refry Tuesdays, correct? Yes, it's the Refry uh, experience. People come all over the city to come down and enjoy Refry comedy. When I say Refry, it's everybody. It doesn't matter if you're Latino, black, white, Hispanic, purple. You enjoy just comedy, and that's what refrying something's all about. It's enjoying it, it's the guilty pleasures, like eating chicken or pizza or burgers. You know you shouldn't do it, but you do it anyways, and that's what this is. Do you know who Vicente Fernandez is? You have no idea, huh? That man will save your life one day, bro. <laughs> Look at me, hit it, DJ. Every Latina in here is going, oh my god! <laughs> you don't understand how powerful that man is. A lot of people will add the bean to it. I'm like, there is no bean in the name, there is no bean in the logo. It's refry comedy, period, because we all fry something. Mexicans fry beans. White people, they fry Twinkies, Oreos, and everything else they can have their hands on. Or Asian people, rice, black people, chicken. We all fry something, but it's that guilty pleasure, dude. That thing that makes us feel good. And that's what this show's all about, making you feel good. They can't stop screaming. It's the only thing that makes them stop fighting at a party. Hit it. They're too busy screaming to beat up anybody. With a Latino base to it, I'm not gonna lie. We really cater to the Latino audience and we try to make an enjoyable show and give them the voice, you know? Give the Latinos the voice to come and perform. Absolutely, and we do like frijoles though. Yeah, oh, I love these. Pay attention, sir. One day you're gonna go see the Dodgers play you're gonna get off the wrong exit. Because <laughs> you will. And you're gonna find yourself in front of this guy named Macholo, a Mexican guy that's bald-headed with a gun. And you're gonna be driving your four-wheel truck because you drive a truck, right? That's, yes, of course you do. It's the very first ever done, ever. This has never been done. Todo totalmente en español. Vamos a traer comediantes de todo el mundo, especialmente de México. Where, what exactly? I understand. <laughs> <laughs> so we're bringing comedians from all over the country to come and perform fully in Spanish because I think that's the voice we're missing. You need to put Vicente Fernandez in your iPod ready to go, bro, for any situation. <laughs> You don't know when you're gonna find yourself in East LA in trouble, you know what I mean? You get the chill on the car, get off the car, cracker! You're like, no! <laughs> saved your life, you see how that saved your life? I want them to bring mom, dad, tia, abuelita, primo, especially in the holidays, they're coming over. Let them experience what the refry show is all about completely in Spanish. And thanks to the improvs, they allowed us to create the 27th of December. We're putting on a full on Spanish show called Sergio y sus pelados de la noche, which was a TV show that now we're bringing live on stage and we're doing and we're performing Spanish stand up completely in Spanish. First time in the history of the improv that this has ever been done. I love doing comedy for white people and Latinos because look at this, sir. Huh? I'm a beaner, you're a cracker. Together we're chili. <laughs> It's great because now mi abuelita, mi tía, my grandpa, my grandma, they're all gonna be able to enjoy this and they get to see, like until this day, my grandma thinks I'm a singer. 
Do you believe that? Yeah, can I'm, we, I'm serious because she doesn't understand what I'm doing. Really? Can, can we hear you sing? Es de amor apasiona. No, 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 no. no. Oh, hi. Oh, that was good, huh? Wow. <laughs> How did I know you had a truck? Because I'm psychic. I can go to any Latino room and go, Is your name Maria? How do you know? <laughs> Are you pregnant? <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> Is the baby daddy in jail? Oh my God, you're good. Oh my God. <laughs> I want the American public to understand. Latinos have a voice and you just gotta listen. And the stuff that we say, it's true, it's painful. And we say it on stage. And I'm not saying that I'm making a change. I just wanna make you think. I just want you to realize and go, hey, maybe not all Latinos are like that. I get it. Stereotypes are there for a reason. We created them, I get it. But not everybody's like that. Not all black people love chicken. Not all Latinos eat beans. And not all white people marry their sisters. You see how that works? So we all have bad stereotypes. So if I can help change that a little bit, I'm there. I'm good. <laughs> My primo is so funny. Thank you so much to Richard Villa for talking with Maz TV. Stick around, everybody, because up next we are talking with Mr. Andy Garcia. We'll be right back. Up next on Maz TV. You're watching Maz TV. I'm Andy Garcia.